Right, right. Hour two of two. How are you doing? We're ready to go. My voice is either coming in or going out. One of the two. If you're just tuning in now, we start at nine. Show up on time. I swear we're coming to your house. <laughs> and it will not be pretty. Looking at John at nine in the morning is just more than any normal, normal human being should take. We, we did get chocolate chip cookies this morning, though, when we showed up. They were great. It's Which, like little little breakfast vitamins. <laughs> it's just, right now, I've already used all my points for today and all through <laughs> Thursday. But other than that, <clears throat> between my uh, my medication and my chocolate high, <laughs> I won't even need a microphone here in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, if someone texted me the other day, too. Hey, you don't talk about your – you're used to losing weight. Did you give up fatso or <laughs> something? I, said, <laughs> I did not give up fatso. I was down uh, yesterday to 212, 212 pounds from – I started at 230. So that's an 18 pound drop, and uh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, you still drinking margaritas? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Boy. I just don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I purge whenever I go to the restaurant. <laughs> I'm like in the Seinfeld where you see me in the back. <laughs> Good cookies and margaritas. That's I love right. it. I did a little cold medication. You don't have to eat. So yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna make it down to to 200. <sighs> Man. 200. I, mean, I start looking. I start looking. At, I'd have to buy all new. Cl- even going from 230 to, to 212, my clothes don't fit. I mean, they're hanging off of me. If I went out of 200, I'd have to go back to my 80s disco jeans and stuff. I'd be back in there. Uh, I'll tell you right now, angel flights are coming back around, and when they do, I'm ready. There you go. Angel flights, the only material that isn't a material. You still got those up in your garage <laughs> I got, stashed away? Dude, I don't in my garage. I got them hanging in the... <laughs> I show my girls, this is, what a, this is what a badass skater looks like, girls, when you're in... <laughs> this, is, this is a true story. I think I've said this before. This is a true story. Do not wear angel flights when you go, ska- when you go uh, roller skating. Because the angel flights <laughs> are a petroleum product, and when you fall on the angel flights, they'll actually melt right to your skin. And I'm sure. Oh, let me see. Look at my. Look at my yep, there's angel flight. I still got angel flight grafted to my skin. Nice. My skin. That's the only pair of pants I ever had that actually melted right on me. <laughs> oh, good time. Petroleum-based pants. <laughs> they are. They are. Right. There is absolutely no fabric in angel flights. They are pure. They're pure. They're like Velveeta cheese. You can put them on the shelf and you can wear them later on. You know, talking about weird Velveeta cheese. There's some proposed or existing foods that are out or coming out. I'm going to read a f- few okay, of them. Let's do a quiz question out of this. Let's, let's, yeah, let's do that. 339 eight hundred. I tell you right now, if you show up to the studio with a pair of 38 uh, angel flights, <laughs> I'll sell. What are you going to get? I don't care. I'll give you, I'll give you one of each or everything we have because I will wear them all weekend. Just, I mean, I, I'll take my daughters to the mall and wear their angel flights. Nice. Just, now I'm in a position where I can, if, if they even slightly bother me, I can make their life so miserable in the mall. I'm going shopping with you girls. Nice. So we'll I like that. I want to see that. Yeah. Is that Roseville Galleria? That's the Galleria, yeah. That's the, the Country Club Mall. <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> is it, does Country Club still have a mall? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is our quiz question. 339-1140, Or you can text us at 441140. John's going to read a list of food items that are either existing or being proposed. One of them... Is is we made up this morning? None the of li- the above. On the, uh, none of the above. Right. So we're looking for the one on this list that is not the accurate item. That I'm, and, and I'm telling you right now, some of these already exist or they're coming to market. Go. Yes, we have BLT chips, birthday cake Oreos, rainbow sherbet gum. I know that's no big deal, right? Bacon milkshakes, <sighs> Dorito tacos, PB and J vodka. Uh huh. We have uh, salmon flavored Slurpees okay. over at Seven Eleven, and we also have um, we have strawberry frappuccinos uh, made with crushed beetles for the flavor and color. So uh, yeah, which one of these is not being proposed? Okay, so these are this is out of an article that they're doing research on new products to come to market. So let me see if I can remember. So, so PB and J, so peanut butter and jelly vodka, bacon milkshake. Yes. A frappuccino with crushed beetles. Yes. Uh, a s- salmon flavored Slurpee. Yes. Um, the du- well, uh, we already know that we already know the Dorito Doritos tacos. The Dorito tacos. My son that- loves them. He thinks they're the bomb. Oh, uh, is that right? Yeah. So that one we don't know. We know that one's legit because it's already out. We had, there was one like bacon lettuce and tomato, what, t- potato BLT ch- chips. Potato chips. Okay. And then Oreo flavored like uh, you said birthday bur- cake Oreos. Birthday cake flavored Oreo cookies. I'm not sure if they're making those in double stuff or not, but <laughs> and by the way. I just I'm glad you said that because another thing from back from being a kid, the Oreos just today are not the same. They what they call double stuff now used to be the normal Oreos. We're getting jammed. That ain't right because the <laughs> Oreos now. Jammed. I had one the other day. There was hardly anything in there. I mean, and Jeff's getting up tight here. I'm, get, well, I'm, I'm all high on my chocolate chip cookies now. 
<laughs> so, and do you twist your Oreos or do you dip them in milk or do you? I just slam them. You just, uh, I was at an open what's house. What's wrong with you? I was at an open house three weeks ago, and that was what you had to rank it on the uh, whiteboard. Yeah, they don't even call them whiteboards; they're permethium boards now. But spill that. Tons of Oreo cookies, and you would take one and eat it. And however you ate it, you had the mark up on, and uh, it was pretty interesting st- statistics there for a third grade class. Oh, oh, open oh your school? Yeah, at the school. So I can I cannot eat an Oreo without dipping it in milk first. It is impossible for me to do that. Wow. So that, it's apparently a, you, not the same problem with chocolate chip cookies. No, I can I can eat them off if they fall on the floor and have dirt on them. Off the text <laughs> line here at thirty at uh, forty four eleven forty. So anyway, that is our quiz question. By the way, John read all those items so he le- that he read there. One of them we made up this morning. The rest of them are all legit. They're either in production or they're coming to market on all those food items. So you can let us know which ones um, do not. Uh, or which one is not not being proposed? Being proposed or in existence. at forty four eleven forty. You can text us or you can call us at three three nine eleven forty. Off the text line. We're going back now to our previous hour. We were talking about the post office. Should we cut them loose? Let them go? Let them go and become a regular business? Run on their own? Sink or swim? Um, Jeff, my uncle works for the post office fixing the machines. He try he tries to encourage me to go green with the statements so we can get more mail. But I still go green anyway. So yeah, going <laughs> going green and that that certainly cut down a lot. Uh, from the nine one six, we think we should slowly pri- privatize it over the next two to three years. And um, <laughs> from the five three zero, Jeff, you can't say badass skater if you're talking about roller skating. Today they call roller skates fruit boots. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you're not using the uh, the inline skating is probably all today. No nah, man, when, when I was let me tell you let me tell you how it was in the day. When I when I used to go skate, we didn't we didn't have those skates that went up way up high like they do like the rental ones. We had these low cut ones, that were fast. I mean, and they were like green. You know, they had the green neon skates, the actual wheel itself. Big old stopper in the front. Big old stopper in the front. Yeah. If you were really cool, you could skip backwards in front of the girl. If you were like me, you know, gave yourself gave yourself a damn concussion when you, <laughs> you fell backwards. <laughs> So um, yeah, skating was it. I mean, we did you? That's where it all happened. Oh, that's the skate rink. Every Friday night, man. If you weren't at the skate rink, that you was were a not place in it. to be and go. I know. So don't don't talk to me about fruit boots. Five three zero. I'll I'll out skate your butt here in just a second if I have to. So do we get you get a win, you did get a winner already? Wow. They didn't they didn't believe the the salmon flavored Seven Eleven Slurpee. That was my that's idea. Jeff's favorite. <laughs> got salmon, he'll eat when salmon, get, anything. When you got a voice like this and you don't want to chew anything, you just put it in a blender. And you could, there should be every flavor of Slurpee I, in the world should be out there. So who who got that right? Everybody. Oh, everybody got that right. Everybody. Oh, come on. Was it that? How did they know there was crushed beet? The, the, what was the crushed beet? I mean, bacon milkshake. Actually, I think that one has been out. Was that uh, who was that? Jack in the Box. Uh, yes, Jack in the Box. So Jack in the Box did that. I must not get out much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what a bacon milkshake would taste like. What was the now? Read this one here with the what was the frappuccino thing? So that one, that yeah, one was legit. So this is actually yeah, uh, cafe chain, otherwise known as Starbucks. Okay, uh, removes beetle extract coloring. So they're phasing out um, the crushed beetles in their strawberry frappuccinos. These are the cochineal beetles uh, for the coloring. Oh, so they're using it to color the strawberry. Yeah. Okay. What what's wrong with using strawberries to color strawberry? And they, and they were doing that too. Government approved food coloring found in many of these products uh, come from bugs. Okay, so that's not just Starbucks, and that's they're using that flavoring uh, anywhere. Yes. So who was screaming about that? Was was it? I thought it, I read there it was like a, a vegan group or something that wanted them to. Got that? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's, that's a whole bunch of details for me. To try <laughs> it's to it's out. a lot of reading there. <laughs> <laughs> early in the morning, we're not good with reading or numbers. So no. <clears throat> that's why we're in the mortgage business. We exactly can, we just read. Hey, um, what, now where was your, you had one more crazy lady there. Was What was the story about her? This is a gal from uh, Dixon, Illinois. Okay. Never she, never been there. She's uh, she's a, pro, she runs prize horses for competition. Okay. Which and, is a very, very expensive hobby. Uh, very expensive. And she makes $80,000 in a salary. Okay. So uh, maybe you get one horse. So all of a sudden the government's trying to figure out you know, what happened to thirty million dollars during her time of? Uh, she was like, like the, the controller or municipal a, financial chief. Okay, business in the business of raising horses, and all of a sudden there's thirty million dollars of misappropriated funds, potentially. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. So this very little community in Illinois 
is and I think if you and I I don't know if it's in that article or if I read it somewhere else their their like their annual budget wasn't that was it like a few million dollars to begin with, so over the, since was it you say oh since oh six since oh six correct so they they're missing they think they're missing something in the neighborhood of thirty million dollars since oh six, so six years thirty million dollars five million dollars a year they're missing, I mean that's how does a small community who maybe has a a budget of you know ten or fifteen million maybe maybe a little bigger than that. You're missing $5 million a year. Wouldn't that stand out before year two? You would think that would stick out like a sore thumb. But uh, And also the lady who's running around driving, ni- horses. driving nice courses, cars and, and raising these super expensive horses on an $80,000 a year salary. So anyway, is she up for death penalty too or not? Uh, you know, <laughs> the America's states are a little more lenient <laughs> apparently. She's still out there on the horse, huh? Yes, yes. So that's... <clears throat> we better not, she better not visit China anytime soon, so... Yeah, that's it's amazing. Thirty million dollars missing from a little community like that. Well, we'll see. Maybe she didn't do it. Maybe she's just a great pro- prized horse rental person. She could be. She could be. I did notice this. This speaking of money and way too much money. This, there's no other place to bring this up. This was out. Of, this is actually out of today's Wall Street Journal. You know, you have too much money. I mean, I'm just. For, we when? Talk, when? Tell we me talk, when? We, well, a we talked about this a few weeks ago when you have a 260 million dollar yacht that's sitting there that you don't use. Okay. I get that. A big trophy. Got to have one though. You got it. Hey, if they if Oprah has one, I got to have one. But this is this is way too much money. A new company backed by Google billionaires, film director James Cameron, I believe also who else was on this? Um, former Microsoft executive Charles Samani, Samani, and also who oh, yeah, Ross Perot's son. So they're getting together, they're forming a, a company called Planetary Resources. Okay, what does planetary resources going to do, buddy? They're going to visit a planet. They're going to build a planet. Nope, they are going to lasso. In lasso. Well, you know, kind of like it. A um, they're going to use a two point six billion dollar robotic spacecraft to capture a five hundred ton asteroid, seven meters in diameter. So how many? How big is it? seven meters? About this tape, no. A little bigger than this. About this the size. Of, about the size of this room. Yeah. Okay. About the size of a studio room. That's not very big. And they're going to try to uh, move it into. It's heavy uh, e- well, not when it's floating. <laughs> I think just catching up to it's going to be the hard part. Okay. So they're going to try to capture an asteroid and push it into the orbit around the moon. That's item number one. They got to capture it. You got to move it. And then they're going to try to mine it. What are they mining it for? For minerals, resources, u- unique unique minerals or minerals that we, because they're concerned that we're going to run out of minerals on the planet. So they want they want to spend. They figure just the initial hundreds of millions of dollars just to even develop a spacecraft, solar powered craft, could capture a five. Oh, it is five hundred tons, so it's a lot. But you don't have to lift it; you just got to push it. They like push it through the water, right? A like poten- a mag- magic trick. A potential flight. <laughs> we could st- we should take them out to the three stages. I'm sure one of those guys could do it. A potential flight would take six to ten years just to the flight just to catch up the thing and get it moved into position. Estimated cost two point six billion dollars. Even NASA said, "Ah, forget not, it. Not interested. We're not going to do that. That's stupid. You guys go ahead and do it." So these guys are going to get together and see if they can raise enough money to lasso an asteroid and push it into our Earth's orbit, so they can mine it. Now, what happens if that thing gets off orbit and ends up landing on one of our states? Like a nuclear bomb going off, so you better lasso it in the right spot. So that's when you know you have way too much cash. Yeah, I'd st- I'd stick to the nice uh, the boat, boats, planes. Well, at least you can find it in less than two to six years. So I thought that was ridiculous. But hey, it's their money. If you got it, do it. And there's a bunch of bunch of people in the. I a very good buddy of mine is a is a true, you know, as, not an astronaut. Um, he builds rockets. I mean, that's all they do. And there's like these guys are sitting around going, "If NASA's not going to do this, we got a lot of talented people. What are we going to do?" And they they you know, hire them. That's fine. Keep them off the unemployment rolls. Keep them out of that that, that little uh, thing we were looking at there a little bit ago. Um, Jeff of the five three zero trying to explain to Fen roller skating something that was cool at one time means you are a disco loving, limp wristed geek. <clears throat> Is this a friend of yours? <laughs> I need to tell my wife to quit texting me during the show. It just irritates me. <laughs> and I am st- I, I, I still think 
this is this is where this is where probably you should just shut off the microphone and go home. I still think the Saturday Night Fever was one of the greatest movies that ever came out. Wow. I mean, for all the music that came out of that, for what came out of that for the time, that movie that that movie was was earth shaking. Earth shaking. Earth shaking. Wow. Now I am. I would not. Have, Something exciting must have happened in that time for you. I would not have called myself a disco loving limp wristed geek. You can call me that, but uh, that. But uh, that's okay. You're a rock and roller, aren't you? He's, but he's saying, yeah, I played dr- I, I was a drummer through high school. Um, and maybe that's where the Olympus thing comes in. I'm not sure. But he's saying the roller skating wasn't cool. And even John's here. And John's younger than I am. He was saying the roller skating was cool back then. Absolutely. Yeah, they didn't have roller blades. So, 530. You can eat that one. We've got to take a break. <laughs> right, Brian? Get us out of here, Brian, before I talk about some other stuff that I don't want to re- relive. 339 1140. 1 800 920 1140. You can text us at 441140. Do we have a... Oh, we'll do a quiz question when we come back and we get to that one, too. we get more time. This is Talking Money. We'll be right back.